All right. It is Monday, June 15, 2020 at 321 p.m. All right. Let's make this quick video about mosquitoes and ticks. All right. Fact checked. Have genetically modified mosquitoes been okayed for release in the U.S.? Apparently, the Environmental Protection Agency approved an experimental use or permit on May 1st that allows Oxitec to release genetically modified mosquitoes in the Florida Keys and Harris County, Texas, where Houston is located. To meet today's public health challenges head-on, the nation needs to facilitate innovation and advance the science about the new tools and approaches to better protect the health of Americans, according to the EPA's press release. The permit will last for two years, requires Ozatech to monitor and sample the mosquito population weekly. EPA has also maintained the right to cancel the permit at any point during the 24-month period if unforeseen outcomes occur so they have the right to release genetically modified mosquitoes which is not a good sign for me genetically mo modified mosquitoes come into the Florida Keys um, apparently they have released modified mosquitoes and here we go it says remain vigilant mosquito season renews concerned about rare but deadly EEE virus what about the pandemic dominating health headlines, it's easy to forget about mosquito-borne diseases. Even as a mosquito season enters its peak during the hot summer months, the threat is real, especially after a particularly deadly season for eastern equinine encephalitis. Last year, health officials have called the EEE one of most, the most dangerous mosquito-borne diseases in the U.S., and there are concerns it's finding new opportunities to spread. So we have this disease going around, and then they're releasing genetically modified mosquitoes a mosquito borne illness that kills over 30 percent of those infected may peak in 2020 the number of cases reported in the united states drastically increased from 2018 to 2019 leaving healthy health officials uncertain of 2020's fate so does this have to coincide with them releasing these mosquitoes are these linked or related Mosquitoes are the deadliest animals in the world, and they have taken thousands of lives through illnesses like mal malaria, West Nile, Zika, and more. As the weather, weather gets warmer, health officials are warning about eastern equine encephalitis, a rare disease that can cause an inflammation of the brain. And the number of cases in the United States spiked from 6 to 38 between 2018 and 2019. The disease kills 30% of those infected. Those who survive may still live with neuro neurological disabilities. Climate change, increased rainfall, and travel can contribute to the increased number of cases of the disease. There is no vaccine for EEE. The best way to prevent the disease is to prevent mosquito bites. And everybody knows it's a gambling chance because mosquitoes are everywhere. And again, it says dangerous mosquito-borne illnesses on the rise in Northeast. So you see the map here showing, let me see if we can zoom in. The, the map there showing um, the mosquitoes. Ah, it kind of knocked it off. Okay, let's see if we can zoom in. Zoom in here. These are the states where the mosquitoes, or EEE cases from 2009 to 2018 have, have occurred. So if you live in those states, please be aware. Also, Tick bite disease with coronavirus symptoms on rise in New York. Experiencing COVID-19 like symptoms after venturing into nature, it may not be coronavirus, but a tick-borne disease with similar symptoms. Rethink convenience. It's time to introduce. Sorry about that. Experience our nation's great outdoors. This is the American dream. War hero. Sorry about that, but apparently there is a tick-like disease that is giving symptoms um, for COVID-19. So, 
Tick disease in New York has similar symptoms to COVID-19, but it's much easier to treat. It says, okay, really, we're being tired of being cooped up outside because of the coronavirus, the pandemic, and now warmer weather is now slowly opening. You want to go outside and enjoy nature. But a few days later, you develop a fever, severe headache, muscle aches, and even some nasty stomach issues. Oh, no, it's COVID-19. Maybe not. And that's the problem. COVID-19 symptoms, at least at the beginning, are very similar to a number of other diseases, from the flu to Kawasaki disease, and it turns out that a tick-borne disease increasing the numbers in New York State. It's called analopsomosis, and, it, and you can get it from a tick bite. The same deer tick that can transmit Lyme disease and and leukocytes, both of which are, have similar symptoms as anaplasmosis. The good news is the antibiotic doxycline is an effective treatment against all three bacterial diseases. The bad news is because of anaplasmosis symptoms are similar to COVID-19, doctors may have a hard time distinguishing between the diseases. So that's something to also keep in mind. Um, not only do we have mosquitoes being released um, by certain agencies with, that are testing and messing around with mosquitoes, we have the mosquito, mosquito EEE disease, and now we also have uh, ticks with disease that could have symptoms similar to COVID-19. So all these um, things are something to keep an eye out. I had reported on COVID-19 just as it was coming out. If you look at my earlier videos, you can see just when they were releasing the information about uh, COVID-19 before they had even named it, I, I had made a video warning about it. So I'm making this video warning about possible mosquito diseases, possible tick diseases coming out. All right, also, water ice lurks in young but not too young lunar craters. Using topographic data, researchers have estimated the ages of water ice containing craters in the moon poles and ruled out volcanism as being a primary route for water delivery. So they've discovered smaller craters or a certain amount of craters that have water and ice on the lunar surface. That is pretty awesome. I'll leave the links to these articles. And sorry again for those noises that kept popping up during the video. It's pretty much just advertisements popping up and trying to um, catch your attention while you're reading articles. Alright guys, hit like and subscribe for more videos. And see you guys next time. Stay safe from mosquitoes and ticks out there guys. You may be catching more than just a mosquito bite or a tick bite. See you guys next time. God bless.